Hello everyone, bienvenue and welcome to our channel, The Immigrant Programmer. Well, you can tell I'm in French Canada, right? Wink, wink. So first things first, I want to give you some insights about myself and this channel and what we're gonna do for you. So I'm a computer science major and ever since I've completed my studies, I've been working in this field as a full stack developer. I work full time for a really cool company that builds home automation products and before even before like I've worked as a teaching assistant, as a programmer, as a marker for like many, many courses in my university. Now, since I work in the tech field, I understand that it could be so overwhelming to keep yourself up to date with the perpetual innovations in this field. There's always just so much going on around us that it's practically impossible to keep track of everything. I know, right? I've been there too. And that is the reason I and my fellow programmer buddy and the co-host of this channel were here for you with this channel. The immigrant programmer got you covered, so don't worry. So we take upon us this responsibility to keep you informed with some relevant news about what's going on in the tech industry, so you just join us, sit back and code. All right now, it's time to break the myth. Please don't go by the name of this channel. It's not just for immigrants, it's for everyone. If you're a native, don't worry, you're totally welcome, haha. <laughs> the name is just there for me and my Im other immigrant co-host who's trying to make our mark here in Canada as immigrants. Well, 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 enough said about us. I don't wanna bore you with any other details about myself or the channel. Now, as soon as you'll press that like button and hit subscribe, we'll get straight down to business, I promise. And let's talk about the topic for today. So, anytime now. Anytime. Done? Okay, I trust ya. So, today we're going to discuss a new JavaScript library called PrintJS. Now, given its name, it's no rocket science to understand what it does. So, let's take a look at its official doc and then we'll see some good examples on how to use this library. Okay, so I want to see the PrintJS official document. There you go. And if you want to download it, you just click here and it's going to take us to this download section. So for the NPM users, this is the command you want to use to install the PrintJS library. And the YAN users, there you go. Okay, I'm going to head up. So let's see an example first um, of downloading a PDF file, um, which would be located on your server. So there you go. This is the code for the example. The button type is button, as we can see here, and we're calling this button print PDF. Now here, what's interesting is when you go to the onClick method, you you want to call the print JS method and pass the path to your PDF file inside as a par as a parameter to that method. So let's see what happens when I click on the print PDF button. Et voila! This library basically makes downloading PDF really easy without you having to leave the interface. So you remember before, like if we have a document requested from the server side, we need to open it in a new tab and then click on the download button to download the PDF. However, now with PrintJS, you don't need to leave the interface at all and you're able to download the PDF even without opening it, but you could still preview it though. So like we just saw here. Now if I click on the save button, it's going to save it as a PDF on my computer since I don't have a printer connected right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it. So initially PrintJS was just built to print PDFs in the first place, but now as you can see it can do much more than just PDFs. So there's basically four different types of documents you can print using PrintJS. There's PDF that is the default that we just saw an example about. And there's also HTML content that you can print. So sometimes you know we just want to print selected parts of an HTML page and um, it can be really tricky. But you know with PrintJS we can easily pass the ID of the element that we want to print and the element can be of any tag as long as it has a unique ID you'll be able to comfortably print it using PrintJS. Next is printing images. So PrintJS can like really quickly print any image on your page if you just pass the URL to the image or like the source path to the image. And um, the next one is JSON data, which personally I feel is really cool. So it just quickly and like really simply prints some dynamic data or like array of JavaScript objects that um, it can print. 
And um, this is the format that you can use to print the JSON data. But I know what you're thinking now and don't worry, I've prepared plenty of examples for you and we can easily understand and see some examples on how we can print HTML images or like JSON data using PrintJS. So here we go. So in the first example, we're going to try to print a print an HTML form. So don't worry about the HTML code and the CSS code there. Um, and uh, we're just interested in this part here, the PrintJS code. So, and in case you're wondering, this is a JS fiddle I've already created for you. And uh, I'm gonna print, I'm gonna put the link to all these JS fiddles that I'm gonna explain you in this video down in the description box so you can view them at a later time. So, okay. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works and then we're going to understand the code together. So first of all, um, let's go try to print this HTML form. If I go click on print form here and there you go. So it opens up an interface that allows me to print this HTML form as it is. And um, if I go ahead and save it, it's going to be saved as a PDF on my computer because, you know, I don't have a printer connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and ca hit the cancel button again. OK, so let's dive into the details of how I am using the PrintJS library to print this form. So first of all, uh, you see the printable field here and you see the name of the uh, sorry, the ID of the form. So the form one is the ID of my form here. Okay. And the type field is HTML for obvious reasons, because we're obviously trying to like print an HTML form and the target styles field. So this just shows, it, it just says that I want to keep the styling of my form intact while printing it. So if I go here, and I show you again. So you see the style, the font and everything. It's all the same. Like in the form. So if I just comment it out and I save the fiddle and then if I try to print it again. Uh, do you see now? Do you see how the style has changed? Because like I didn't ask the JS fiddle method to keep the same si styling. Okay, so I'm going to go and uncomment it again. Okay, and the header. So the header is basically a heading that you want to give to your form while printing it. So like here, I've just given it print JS print form with customized header. So if I go here again, you can see that this is the heading. This is the header that I've provided and you can change it, of course. And that this is what it's going to appear on your form when you print it. OK, let's print some images now. Um, so to print the images in the HTML code, there is a button called print images and on the on click of this button I provided a method which is print images and here in the print images method I have called my PrintJS library and I've passed the following parameters okay let's see so the first one is printable so in the printable I've passed an array because I wanted to print multiple images here so you see I have passed the image URL to the images that I want to print and I have passed one two and three. So I've passed three URLs. So all my math geniuses out there, if I've passed three URLs to my printable method, how many images am I going to print? Well, three, you're right. So um, the type is image, of course, and the header is multiple images because um, very obvious. So um, the next one is image style. So yes, it's, this is really cool. So you before printing your images, if you wanted them, if you want them to be like in a certain format or like in, in, in a certain, you want them to adapt a certain kind of style, you can pass them right here and your images would be printed just like you want them to be. So um, let's go ahead and see what we got here. We click on the print images button and you see 
we have all the three images with the perfect styling and the header multiple images all right so let's move on to the next example which is printing json data so here we're going to print some dynamic data and in the j javascript uh, field i have the json data that we want to print it's an array basically which cons which consists of three different objects and i have the name email and the phone number field so this is my data called some json data and i want to print this so let's see how we can do it i call the print js method of the library and um, then in the printable i pass the sum json data so which is the name of the variable that i want to print and the properties so in the properties it's basically an array of fields that i want to print so here we have three properties name email and phone I'm, and i'm printing all of them basically but you could just print like some of them like name and phone and not the email that's up to you and then the type json and let's go click on the on the print json button and see how the data will be printed okay so you see uh we have all the json data printed in a table format and the name email and phone field as the data as the header of each of the column so this is pretty good huh? okay so now what do we got here we're gonna print some json data again and now i'm gonna show you how you can decorate your json data and how you can add some styling to it so this we've got here this is new okay so display name so last time you see um the header of each of the column was the name of the field that we have provided but this time we don't want them to be the name of the field we want them to be something different so this is the reason we're providing the display name so for the name we're going to see full name as the header of the column and then for email we're going to see this for phone we're going to see this perfect so let's move on to the next property that you can provide which is the grid header style so i have provided it a color and a two pixel solid border and i've also provided some styling to the to, to the grid so basically grid style of a two pixel border so let's see how we can print this styled json data so i go ahead and i am going to go click on the print style json button and you see you see how beautiful our json data looks so so basically print js gives you extra power you you can decorate you can provide styling you can do anything you want to do to the kind of to the data you want to print before printing it as they say to err is human and who else can understand this better than us coders high five you girls and guys Errors and exceptions are pretty much unavoidable in codes and coding environments, so why not handle them? And the good news is that PrintJS provides you a mechanism to handle any kind of errors or exceptions that can occur while printing your documents. So we let's see how. So I have the PrintJS um, method here, and this is pretty basic to you now. I know you all are geniuses. So here, let's see uh, what happens when I go on the on error method. You can pretty much catch any error here and pass it to either a console log or like an alert like I've done here. So I've passed the me error message on the alert and I'm going to display it to the users like this. So let's see what happens when I click on the print PDF button and there you go so you have an alert displaying the error message and telling you that something went wrong while you were trying to print your pdf in that in this case so i'm gonna print okay so that's a wrap thanks a lot for watching the video i hope it was worth your time although we have covered plenty of good examples on how to use the print.js library if you want more help in using this library i'd recommend you to go check out their official docs i'm going to put the link to it down in the description box and as a promise i am also going to put the links to all the js fiddles we have covered in this video down in the description box as well now before leaving just destroy the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon thanks a lot keep coding and take care